You're live. Hi. Do I get my cool filters on? Yes. You're lifting weights now. You got googly eyes. Do I get my cool filters on? Yes. There's a lot of noise. Feedback. You're lifting weights now. You got googly eyes. <laughs> All right. I'm the only one on. Oh, people can watch this later. <laughs> All right. If you're just jumping on, hi. We're glad that you're here with us tonight. So, yeah, Lincoln's here. Mr. Justin's here. And um, Brian's here. So, um, I'm glad that you're on here with us. I'm going to take that, the funny filter off in a little bit. But I thought it was funny, so I wanted to do it. Um, but, hey, go ahead. Your challenge for today was to get these items ready. But if you didn't see that or you didn't have time, um, you can go ahead and do that now. So you'll need a tall um, vase. Um, or some kind of container that's tall and see-through, clear and see-through. And then you will need um, shaving cream and you will need um, food coloring. Okay, so if you only have one or two colors, that's fine. I happen to find a bunch at our house, so I brought them over. Um, but you don't, you don't need to have that many different kinds. So go ahead, while you go ahead and do that, I have some really awesome jokes that I, Lincoln can see me on the screen, so he's waving to me, so, um, <laughs> yeah, he's pretty excited, okay, um, anyway, so, what size tree fits in your palm? Palm tree. Okay, um, next question, what kind of Whoa, oh, oh, why are da dogs bad dancers? Why are dogs bad dancers? Because they have two left feet. <laughs> get it? All right, so for those of you who are just hopping on, I'm giving you guys time to get the tall glass container filled with water, leave a little room at the top, shaving cream, you only need one can, not even a whole can, and food coloring. Um, so my next question is, what do you call fake pasta? An impasta. Get it? Fake pasta? An impasta? Okay. Anyway. All right. So is everybody ready? So uh, I was trying to think of today what we should call our, our Wednesday night lives, and I couldn't think of anything creative. So if you can think of something um, creative to call... Wednesday nights when we get together for our church service-ish. What should we call it? I don't know. Corona 19? I don't know. I said Corona. Anyway. Okay. So, also, I wanted to let you know that tomorrow's challenge for OCN Kids is to put, uh, find a stuffed animal and put it on, a, if you have a house that's on a street, um, you go ahead and put that bear, whatever stuffed animal it is, in your window because people are going to be driving around tomorrow as they're trying to kill time and look for stuffed animals in windows. So that's the challenge for tomorrow is to put some kind of stuffed animal in your window for people to see just for fun. All right. Um, also, um, Irene was asking the other day or today about could we all do like a Zoom get together or in any meeting get together so in the comments right would you guys be able to would you want to um, do a zoom or send me a text and let me know just to let the kids all have it's kind of fun um, just to see each other and get to talk with each other um, all right so uh, mr. Justin yep. can you turn off my all right so, um, 
as we're getting ready to do that, I just want to say how much I miss you guys. Do you guys miss your church friends? Because I know that we miss you guys, and so we look forward to being able to see you guys um, whenever it's safe to do that. So um, we've, we've been missing you guys and thinking about you and praying for you. So anyway, we hope to see you soon. All right, so right here in front of me is this glass container. And if you didn't have the stuff to do it tonight with me, you can always do it later, whenever, and just try it out yourself. So um, this glass jar here has the water in it. And the water is going to represent God. Brian, you want to go ahead and come on over? Brian's going to help me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so the water in here represents God. So what does the water represent? God. God. Okay. So, uh, oh, I have this one already open. Okay, so the shaving cream is going to represent things that are scary to us, things that give us anxiety, like just bad, icky things in our life. So if you've been paying attention to the news, if you've been hearing the news, um, or you've been hearing, uh, seeing maybe your, if your parents are on social media and you overhear stuff that they're listening to, um, it's kind of a scary time, perhaps. You know, you hear, you hear about people getting sick and um, some people have died. And so um, it can be kind of scary. What I want to talk to you about tonight is what we can do when we have the scary times. And so if you got to watch the um, church service with Pastor Larry on Sunday, he was talking about what we need to do at times like this is remember to stop and to pray. Um, and so sometimes it's easy to think, well, I don't know if God is hearing my prayer or is, is hearing what I'm saying. And so we're going to talk about that tonight. So what does the water represent? God. God. The water represents God. And the shaving cream is going to represent all those things that are scary to us. Um, so... As you guys watch me do it and I make little clouds, you can say with your family, what are things that are scary to you? Or if you're actually doing it yourself, then you can say what's scary to you. So I'm going to do the first one and then I'll let Brian do one. So you're just going to kind of make a cloud there. And then you want to do one, Brian? So you're just going to go ahead and you're going to fill kind of the top space yep good job with some clouds so it'll be mostly full but just like a bunch of clouds it's a little bit messy just a bunch of clouds you see what it looks like on the top and it will just it will just float there of the water okay so Brian what does the water represent God God and what does the sh shaving cream represent Fears and stuff that you don't hope that doesn't happen? Yeah, fears and things that you hope don't happen. Well, you said it really well. Okay, so all these fun food colorings, they are going to represent our prayers. So when we stop, when we are feeling anxious, we're feeling afraid, we're not sure what's going to happen. Maybe we have things outside of the COVID-19 that we're thinking about. Maybe... You have someone in your family who's been really sick and you are feeling worried about them. Are they gonna are they gonna die? Are they gonna get better? Or maybe at school kids have been bullying you and you're worried about that. Maybe some kids are even thinking, Well, I still remember everything that I learned when I go back to school, you know, and it's just unsure what's gonna happen. So there's lots of different things that we can be um, anxious about. But these are our prayers. So each one of these is going to represent different prayers that we might pray to God. So what were some things that we've prayed about lately? Uh, my, uh, my aunt. Aunt Carrie? Okay, so we've prayed for Aunt Carrie. That's right, because her husband did pass away. So we could say praying... for, whoops, Aunt Carrie, here, you want to squeeze some more, here, I ran out of 
good coloring on that one. There we go. So we could say that we're praying for Aunt Carrie. We're praying for people that, that we care about that are going through a hard time. All right, what would be something else that we might want to pray about? Not missing too many days of school. Okay, so maybe concerned about if we miss too many days of school. Go ahead. So you can just, as you think about, if you're doing it at home, as you think about that, just tell your family, what is it that you would want to pray about as you put it in? If you're not doing it at home, you're watching along, then you can just tell your family, as we're putting it in, what it would be that you would want to pray about. Okay? So I'm going to do some purple. And I think that maybe we could pray about, we because we've prayed about people that have the coronavirus and that God would help them to heal. So those are some things that we could pray about. Um, earlier you were talking to me about um, like when kids sometimes at night by themselves in bed they're afraid. Okay, so do you want to do that one? You want to put that one in? So guys, as he's putting in that in, I want you to think about something that you've been afraid of, maybe before or you're afraid of right now, um, something that kind of makes you feel a little bit sick to your stomach when you think about it. All right, so we're putting those in. Now, Brian, what, tell me again, what does the water represent? God. What does the shaving cream represent? Fears and stuff that you hope doesn't happen. Yep. And what does the food coloring represent? Prayers. Our prayers. And so sometimes when we think bad things are happening, or right when it's like kind of like a storm in our life and it's just a lot of bad things happening at once, we start to think, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how many people are going to get sick. I don't know if people are going to lose their jobs. I don't know. All these things that we don't know. And we really, we don't have control over that. But when we, we forget sometimes to pray about that. But when we stop and pray, we can see here that, see that? Even all this up here couldn't stop God, our prayers, from getting to God. So God loves us so much. He cares about us and we're important to Him. And your prayers, whether they're really uh, fancy prayers or they're simple prayers or long prayers or short prayers, it doesn't matter. God hears your prayers and He cares about you. And so I'm going to read to you, whoops, um, I'm going to read to you from Romans um, 8.38. Whoop. I had it open to that. I don't know what happened. Mm. Romans 8.38 says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Guys, that's so exciting. So none of this stuff here, none of it, can separate God from hearing our prayers. And so I just want to encourage you that when you are having those times when you're feeling anxious or scared, you're worried about those things happening that you don't want to happen, like Brian said, that we can stop and we can turn to God. And we can say, God, I need you to help me right now. And he loves you and he wants to help you. And you never have to be afraid. All right. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to pray. And then um, I'm going to tell you one more joke. Okay. All right. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for each boy and girl that is watching with us right now or will be watching later on, Lord. And we thank you for their families. And God, we're just so happy that Scripture tells us that none of the things that can be scary about life can come between 
us and you and that you hear our prayers and that our prayers are special to you and you love us and you care about us. And so, God, we just ask that you would continue to help us to be bold, that you would help us to know that we can share the love of God, the love of Jesus with people that we meet. And there's so many people that don't know how much you love us and that you hear our prayers, Lord. And so just help the boys and girls and help myself, help us to be bold and help us to share um, your love with others and um, keep us safe and keep our friends safe and our church safe and keep our community safe. And um, thank you, Jesus. We love you. Amen. All right, are you guys ready for one more joke before we, we close out? All right, one more joke. Here we go. I hope I can still get to it. It's kind of lame. Here we go. Oh, I had it up here on my screen. Oh no. Did you say the one about the noodles? I did say that my noodle one. Uh, oh. All right. All right. I, I, I heard a good joke the other day. Um, why is there always money in the ear? Why is there always money in the ear, Brian? Do you know why there's always money in the ear? Cash ear. Because it's the cash ear. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Miss you guys. Love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.